Today we said farewell to Broken Hill and hit the road heading towards Wilcannia. What a great caravan park with spectacular views of a billabong just off the Darling River. We had a walk around the billabong that we backed onto. It was extremely peaceful and quiet. The Darling River is pretty low at the moment and we were impressed with the height of the embankments. A beautiful Sunday morning as we get ready to explore the Darling River and take a trip to Tilpa. It was 120 kilometres to Tilta. It was a strange little pub in the middle of nowhere. I must say the food was pretty good though. It's time to leave our little oasis and head off to Cobar. There's absolutely nothing between Wilcannia and Cobar, so we made our own lunches and pulled over in a rest area for a break. Well, it's another beautiful morning in outback New South Wales. The Fort Burke lookout gave us a great view of Cobar and its surrounding area. From the viewing platform, we had an awesome view of the open pit mine and we could see the entrance to the underground mine in the bottom right hand corner. Unfortunately, there was no machinery in operation today it's a shame because we would have loved to have seen that. Here you can see some of the original mine shafts and tunnels that were dug by hand. The Cobar Miners Memorial was officially opened in June 2021 in the Cobar Miners Heritage Park and forms a central focus as part of a collection of artefacts and memorials on the barrier highway entry to the Cobar Township. The Cobar Miners Memorial commemorates those who have died in the local Cobar mines. Sadly, today it was time to say goodbye to Janet and Phil. They're continuing their journey on to the East Coast and I'm heading south, homeward bound. It's been great travelling with them, we've had a ball. A quick snack on the side of the road at Mount Hope. I've arrived in Hilston and I'm all set up for an overnight stop. Today I left Hilston heading for Cobram quick stop for a snack at Darlington Point. 
The road through to Griffith was pretty rough and bumpy along the way. I arrived at the RACV resort in Cobram in the afternoon. The sites are huge, plenty of space around everyone. Today was a day for housekeeping. I've changed the bed and I've got the sheets and towels all washed and dried. I spent some time tidying things up and I even managed to give the car a wash. I went into town and had a lovely lunch at the local bakery. This afternoon I'll have some time for a final clean up before heading home tomorrow. Today's the day I head home and I couldn't believe it rained as I packed up for the 300 km journey home. Thanks for watching this video right through to the end, I really appreciate it. Why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you out there on the road.